Cubcats star receiver Wandale Robinson is excited for this SEC showdown. And he'll have a big cheering section in Athens that includes his dad, Dale Robinson. The father and son share a special bond that goes beyond football. Don't really try to do anything different. Um, just want to cheer on every week that we've had this past, um, past couple weeks. Um, don't really want to change anything and just go out there and get the job done and get a win. What is your message to Big Blue Nation, to the fans? Because the fans have really stepped up this season to show support for this team. It's just such a fun time to be a Kentucky fan. I appreciate the fans so much. Uh, we can't thank you guys enough. Um, I'd say that from our whole team. And we, we feel your presence and definitely the other teams have felt um, the presence of the fans. And, um, that's just been a big boost for us, especially being at home as much as we have. So uh, that's just been a really big blessing. Really What's it like to be able to share this with your family now that you're back home in the bluegrass state? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's definitely nice um, getting to have all my family members be in all the games and um, not have to worry about them driving 12 hours and things like that. So um, it's just really <laughs> nice to see them often. And, um, I don't have to worry about um, who's going to be there and who's not. So I can make sure they're all there. Dale, I remember talking to you before the season started. You had big predictions for this team. You knew it. You believed it all along. What's it like for you as a proud father? Oh, it means everything. Just to see me, you know, my kid get to come home. And, you know, he gets to see his sister. He gets to see his mom. And a lot of his family, they get to see him. And just for him to be on the stage and enjoy it and, ha and having fun. But just the, the smiles from the pictures let me know, like, he's enjoying every bit of it. It totally means everything to me. You will be in the stands Saturday for the Georgia game. So, you know, what is it like, the nerves and everything that goes into it as a parent watching your son? Well, I guess my nerves is, I'm I almost like I'm probably about to play the game. You know, until they kick the, once they kick the ball off, then it's like, okay, let's play ball, you know? So, you know, but I wouldn't miss the game if it was on the moon. So I'm gonna be there, ready to rock and roll, ready to cheer, ready to, stamp around in the stands so because i know we're gonna win wandale do you share that sentiment can you make a bold prediction for us hey, i mean i just i go we go out there and do what we gotta do i'm not gonna i mean obviously i believe that i'm not gonna go out there and say that we're gonna lose any team so um as long as we just go out there and do what we have to do I think we're dale you are getting ready for a special event you are giving back to the bluegrass and it is something that is very personal for you through your journey with your son with your family so tell us about the foundation and the story behind it she's talking about the one of george robinson foundation which is <coughs> excuse me is which has been inspired from my two boys which is delvon and wandell you know um i was actually incarcerated for 10 years and there was so many kids i mean so many parents that i've seen that you know, that was left their kids. And I was like, you know, hey, if my kids is that way, and I have so many other guys that I'm locked up with, their kids is out there, you know, how many kids really need that help for their from their parents? But we actually started it because they need support, they need, you know, encouragement, and also they need the right role models around them. So, you know, without my kids having the right role model and the right support system, there's no telling where they'll be. But right now, with the right role models and the right people, you can see what actually can happen for you with Juan Dell and my oldest son, Del Bond, which was actually graduated from Eastern Kentucky with a, a criminal justice degree. So that's what why Wanda George Robinson Foundation was started. Juan Dale, what are the lessons that you have learned from your dad through the challenges that he faced and to where you are right now? A big part of it is, I mean, I kind of have the blueprint of like what not to do um, part of it, which was kind of a little bit of a blessing and a curse. but. Um, it made me grow up and things like that. And he's just showed me that it really, no matter what you go through, you can really get out of it and make the best of it on yourself, for yourself. So um, just with everything he's doing now, and, um, how he's there for me, my sister and my brother, it's just really, it's just really nice. Dale, uh, you are- Oh your... my God. <laughs> That was so sweet. And, and, and Dale, you are at your business right now, Guru Fitness, and you are getting ready for a special event next week. So how can people come out? How can they support your mission? Uh, next Friday, October 22nd, the one George Robinson Foundation, we, have, we are having a golf scramble, and we're looking for any players that want to participate in our golf scramble, but we're also looking for people that want to donate because all the proceeds that are coming from the one George Robinson Foundation Golf Scramble is donated to our foundation to help kids in every form and fashion. And if you would like to donate or participate, go to the WJRfoundation.org and you can sign up. So we would love to have everybody show up, have multiple teams, get your friends together, 
uh, and keep going. Wandale, we wish you all the best this weekend. We'll all be cheering for the Cats 6-0, and hoping to make history 7-0, and upsetting Georgia. And just, you know, what is it like when you, you know, I know you're taking it game by game, but what are your thoughts just about this weekend, this moment in Kentucky football history and what it means to you and to this program? Um, I mean, it definitely means a lot. I, think, I mean, obviously, if we, we win this game, it'll be a project, program changing winning the game. So um, just going in there with our mindset that we've always had, uh, that we're just going to be the more dominant team and just come out with the win.